Before we do anything with the VSN Visual Guidance System, first we need to verify that our RS1 or SC1 steering system is performing to the best of its abilities. Our first step will be running the system through a hydraulic cowl. To do this, we'll go to the gears on the right hand side and then we will select the steering wheel for steering setup. We'll then go to steering control calibration. With the SC1 and RS1, we do have the ability to have quick cals, but to have the best performance, we will want to do a hydraulic calibration on the machine. To initiate the calibration, drive between one and four miles an hour, and then hit the play button or the auto steer engage button on your machine. The system will automatically run through the calibration and when the calibration is finished, you will get a summary screen. Once finished, we will hit the check mark. After we've completed our hydraulic calibration, the next thing we want to do is verify our wheel control effort. We will go to wheel control settings and then if we press the min button it will move the wheels to the left and to the right whichever button we push. Our target wheel velocity is one degree per second. On C-series rogators you will press the min button and then also hit your auto steer engage button on the joystick. We can increase or decrease this minimum control effort to get that optimal wheel velocity of one degree per second. You should not need to change this by more than a couple of percentage points. You will want to drive the machine around one mile an hour while doing this test. For four wheel steer machines, it is critical that the four wheel steer offset is set to zero. If the four-wheel steer offset is not set to zero, steering performance will be affected. 